Fans of the Horus Heresy, thank you very much for joining me for a video to talk about quietly vanishing models of a Forge World Horus Heresy range. When single events happen, you kind of ignore them and think, oh, well, that's a one-off. However, when something happens more than once and it happens in a short period of time, the analytical brain that I have said there's something going on here. And what I'm just going to discuss in this video is how certain models from the Horus Heresy range are going out of production at the moment, both in terms of visibly, where Forge World have told us they are going out of production, and then invisibly, where they've dropped out the catalogue with no notification sent out to customers, so i.e. by the Warhammer community website or via email, that a withdrawal is about to occur. And we have two models in front of us that we are going to specifically talk about from that perspective. So the wider context of this is Forge World have been pulling a number of models from their ranges over the last few weeks or so. The most obvious being is the 40k orientated Elysian drop troops, which, you know, is a big range and a lot of people I think have a lot of love for, but they've pulled that. I mean, it had already been pulled and reintroduced once over the last couple of years, but it seems now it is gone for good. At the same time as that, and in a very short period of time, on the 20th of April, I got an email from Forge World to say that certain other miniatures were going to go out of production, i.e., just let's think what these were. So we had a few weapon turrets for Death Corps of Krieg tanks, and then a number of models for the Solo Auxiliary range. So these were, and this is what I'm particularly interested in as a Solo Auxiliary collector. Both of their rapier weapon platforms go out of production. So that's the multi-laser and the quad launcher, or thud gun. The character series model, Avos Joven and his Medicaid orderlies, so that's now completely unavailable. So if you're a solar auxiliar collector, you have no medic models available whatsoever. So that's a, a bit of a ball drop in my view. Although the set was expensive and I don't think it was particularly well pitched ever. What we should have had is those medical orderlies should have been a separate set. Finally, the heavy weapon crew for vehicles or the vehicle Pinto weapon crew. So this is a heavy flamer and the multi-laser guy. Very, very weird timing on the withdrawal of those. Given in the same week the Aurochs armoured transport was released and there was a clear conversion opportunity there to use one of the gunners or if not the gunners because they're cut off at the waist and the way the Aurochs is designed you can see the whole guy if you have the interior opened up certainly to use a heavy flamer and the multi-laser pintle mounts but those are gone as well now this is quite interesting because it would appear to me that Forge World is doing something of a clean out of its catalogue maybe they're trying to get rid of the things that are selling slowly but taking up a lot of stock space. I mean, you know, I've, I've got experience working in warehouse and distribution management and production, and Forge World has a very diverse catalogue. It has loads of things in the catalogue. And if things aren't selling very well, then they may have taken a cost decision to remove those items from the range and focus on things that sell better. And we have seen various kits go out of stock recently. Uh, so, for example, the Termite Assault Drill went out of stock straight away after it was released. So perhaps they're thinking they can repurpose some production capacity onto these things that sell better. It is what it is, although I do think there is a hole to fill there, particularly with the Medicaid orderlies for the Solar Auxiliary, because they are kind of like quite unique models, and there isn't any other real accessibility to Solar Auxiliary models in that sort of unit size. So that is something I think they need to bring back. Anyway, those are the visible things that are going out the catalogue. What I'm now going to talk about are the invisible things that are going out the catalogue. And we have two mixes here that are currently not available from Forge World. They've just disappeared without any sort of notification ever that they were going out of stock. Here we have the Iron Hands Legion Contemptor Dreadnought. And this is a model that came out in the early years of the Horus Heresy game, same time as Book 2, if I recall correctly, or in the same model year. Just to note, the thing that is out of production is the body of the Contemptor, so the Iron Hands Contemptor. The Power Fist and the Kerry's Assault Cannon are still in production and available. The second miniature, and this is one that's just recently come to my attention, is this guy, which is the Magos Dominus, armed with the Irradiation Cleanser, and this is from the Mechanicum range, and this is also no longer available on Forge World's website to buy. So what is going on here? Why have these models vanished and we've not seen a return of them? And what does not having them mean for the respective armies? Let's start with what could be argued is just the cosmetic side of things. I mean, the Iron Hands Contemptor is a nice model. Perhaps not everybody's 100% keen on it, but I really like it, and I like the really cool design on the power pack and how it's got this sort of like slightly mechanicum influence to it. It is a good model though, it's really nice. My version has got the standard Contemptor head and I used the head from my Iron Hands Contemptor on my Deradio Dreadnought just to sort of break things up a bit and it looks a bit like a targeting eye. So this guy hasn't been available for quite some time now. I think maybe as long as a year, maybe a bit longer. Yeah, so where did this go? 
Why did the Iron Hands Contempt to Dreadnought vanish? I don't know. Possible reasons. I can't imagine it's not selling enough to justify it being there, given that all the other Legion Contempt to Dreadnoughts are available. So it's an obvious gap in an otherwise complete range. I don't think there's a question around the production quantity. So is it a case then that something has happened to the actual model or the master that the Forge or team produce off? Has that got broken? Or maybe not just that has got broken, but maybe the original has got broken and they just can't produce it anymore. And the sculptor hasn't been retasked to reproduce the model. I mean, there are some details on this that I could imagine have great capacity to break. I mean, this internal detailing on the power core, you know, there's lots of bits there that could break. This fine cabling detail and also the front underside of the armoured carapace, or the armoured torso, should I say, is quite fragile in places. And the piping detail is incredibly delicate. I don't know, maybe a breakage has occurred there and they've just simply not resumed production. Is it a showstopper for an Iron Hands collector or player? No. The Stand Contemptor is available, the Relic Contemptor is available, you've got the Death Guard Contemptor and the World Eater Contemptor, all of which with greater or lesser conversion work can be made to look very Iron Handsy. The second miniature, which is the one that's just recently seems to have dropped off the radar, is this model here. This is the Magos Dominus armed with the Irradiation Cleanser. This was one of the very first Mechanicum models and if my memory serves me correctly, I think this came out immediately after the Talax were released and the Talax were the first of the Mechanicum models and this came out before even Castellax did so this really is an early Mechanicum model. Mine's got a little bit of conversion work I put some metal pins in to strengthen his servo arm. This is an amazing model this one. It's just absolute crazy Mechanicum Grimdark. It's one of the best Mechanicum models ever made. In my view it's certainly up there with Archmagos, Dracovac and when it comes out Anakaris Scurria. So it's a brilliant model. It's quite a collector's piece in certain regards when you look at his tiny little arms. And it's been on sale for a long time, but it now has vanished. What's happened to the Magos Dominus? We don't know. Again, has something broken that's prevented them recreating it to sell? Or was it not selling and they decided to ditch it? I don't know. But I've not seen, again, any notification to say that this model was going out of production. So yeah, it's gone. Does it matter? Well, in the case of this guy, then yes, it does. If you're a Mechanicum player, the Magos Dominus is quite an important model for your forces. And particularly if you're a Legio Cybernetica player, the Arch Magos Dominus is very much styled on this particular model. If you want a Magos model on a smaller abeyant, as this guy was styled to be, and also armed with a couple of these unusual and esoteric weapons. So we have the Irradiation Cleanser, and a Volkite Serpenta, which is a very rare weapon to get in a model. You're kind of a bit stuffed now, and there isn't an alternate model available. You have got Dracovac from the character of its series, but that is a somewhat different model, and it certainly doesn't have this crazy gothic feel to it. And it's a much, I mean, much more expensive kit, two to three times the cost. Are you going to have to go to 40k for, say, Belisarius Call, or their Magos Dominus, to get a sort of similar styled large Dominus model because the other Magos model with the servo automata is a very different style of Magos and not a combat orientated super augmented one like this. So again what has happened to the Magos Dominus? Where has it gone and why is it no longer available for sale? This model is a significant loss to the Mechanicum range in my view and it's a real shame to see such a characterful miniature no longer available. There you go, a video just pulling together a few observations about a number of models that have gone out of production in the fairly recent past and just thinking what this might mean for players and collectors of these armies and is it telling us something about Forge Wall, their repurposing their reproduction a bit? Are we now going to see other models go out of production over the coming months? They've got loads of stuff planned to release later this year, so maybe we are and maybe we need to be very aware of notifications from Forge will to watch out for stuff. So everybody's got models in the range that they've seen and they think, yeah, I am going to get that at some point, but you know, there are other things I'm buying now. Certainly I got caught out like that with the auxiliary rapiers. It was one of those things I was thinking, one day I'm going to pick one of these up, but you know, it's gone now and I can't. Just something to think about there and invite any observations and comments from you guys and girls if you know anything about what is happening with these models in our production and especially these two models here which have silently gone out of production without any sort of public announcement that they're going to go out of production they've just vanished so gone so just gone with no notification do you know anything about that and why it may have happened 
Can you think of other four draw models where this has happened with in the past? Maybe something that I'm aware of and you do recall. Any thoughts that you have around those observations and questions, please do share them in the comments. I'm interested to hear as usual. But other than that, I'd just like to say thank you very much for watching. I'll speak to you next time and goodbye.